Kwe. My name's Emily, and today's video is our Christmas morning basket. Let's go ahead and unwrap and see what's inside. So we will start our morning basket each day with an interactive family celebration of Advent. This is the Wonder of the Greatest Gift by Ann Voskamp. This is the one that has a paper tree inside. And then it also comes with the book that you read each day. And inside this book has like the story. And each day when you get done reading the story, there is a prayer. And then after the prayer, you get to hang a corresponding ornament on the tree. So like here is day one. And then this is the ornament. And like I said, you just hang it on the tree after your reading. So you have 25 little openings. This month we have Mad Libs trivia and jokes. So for jokes, we have the Laugh Out Loud Christmas Jokes for Kids by Rob Elliott. For trivia, we have the National Geographic Kids Weird But True Christmas. 300 festive facts to light up the holidays. And these are just random Christmas based facts. Some of them always make us laugh and they're funny. Others make us um, go down a rabbit trail of other things we might want to learn because we read it. It's just a fun kind of icebreaker. And then we have our Mad Libs Christmas Cheer. So this is a festive collection of Mad Libs and Mayhem. And Emily loves that they are shaped like a stocking. For read alouds this year, we have one Advent read aloud, and that is How Winston Delivered Christmas. This is an Advent story in 24 and a half chapters. We did this last year and loved it. We decided we wanted to do it again. So there is, like I said, 24 and a half chapters, and then at the end of each chapter, there is some sort of activity or craft. So we won't do the activities or craft during our morning basket time, but um, probably afterwards we'll move to the table and do them or Emily will do them independently. But it was just a really fun story that had crafts that went along with it. So Emily loved that. We will also be reading A Boy Called Christmas, A Girl Who Saved Christmas, and Father Christmas and Me. We have read these, I believe, three Christmases in a row now. We absolutely love them. Now I did order a few more um, chapter books in case we get through all three of these. And I will share them with you if we read them. I don't want to add them in here and then us not get to them. Because I'm just not sure how quick we're going to read because of some of the other things I picked up this year. But I will say we are most excited that A Boy Called Christmas is coming to Netflix this year. So that means that we will actually get to do a book and a movie, which is one of our absolute favorite things. We absolutely adore this series. It's interesting and funny and different and not like anything we've ever read. So we read this one every year. And then these are the additions that I made this year that I'm just not sure how um, long it's going to take us to get through. So I wanted to give us some grace. This is the history of Christmas. 2,000 years of faith, fable, and festivity. One of the things I loved about this book was that there are recipes in it, suggested scriptures. There are also even discussion questions in here. Um, it's just kind of a little bit of everything. It honestly is a perfect history of Christmas if you just use this book alone. It's just kind of full of everything. Like I said, 2,000 years. So there's suggested scripture, discussion questions, and then here's a recipe. I mean, it's just full of awesomeness. Christmas is coming is traditions from around the world. This one seemed like a perfect fit since we would be doing Christmas around the world. It has really pretty illustrations. It covers a wide range of places. You want to pause and screenshot that. That's all the places this book goes and all the things it talks about. And then a Christmas, a treasury of Christmas stories and songs. I have seen this one all over Instagram and Facebook and I knew that I wanted to add it to our morning basket because it's absolutely beautiful. So this will be our first year using this one as well. And then again, here's the table of contents for it. 
for hands-on activities, we have a ton of puzzles. We've accumulated quite a few different Christmas puzzles over the years. And normally, if Kevin is doing morning time with us, this is her top pick to do with him. They love doing puzzles together, so I made sure I had plenty on hand. These are just two of the ones that we have. And then for times when he doesn't do morning basket with us, I wanted to make sure that she had things that would keep her hands busy, but that also could be repurposed as gifts or given away like kind of as acts of kindness through the month of December. So I got her a set of sun catchers. They're all Christmas themed sun catchers so that she can paint these and either hang them in the windows to bring some extra joy or give them away as gifts to friends and family. I also got her a holiday beeswax candle making kit. So this is their Christmas version. She loves making candles and I thought this would be a really fantastic holiday gift as well or for us to enjoy. She is really into the rocks right now, the kindness rocks, finding them, hiding them, um, trading them. So I got her a holiday hide and seek rock painting. So it comes with all kinds of different holiday stickers and, you know, like help for holidays. And so I thought this would be a really fun thing for her to do during morning time. And then for us to hide for, you know, other people to just bring them a little joy this holiday season. And then the last thing I got her was actually a ornament making kind of like kit. Um, and what I did was I just opened it and put it in a tray that will kind of like live under our coffee table. And it was just a ton of these wooden ornaments. So they're just thin wooden ornaments in different shapes and sizes, all kind of holiday themed. And then it came with stickers and bells and twine and markers. And then I figured I would probably add some um, glitter glue and paint and anything else that she you know, wanted to use. And I'm just gonna let this live under our coffee table and so that way she can just make ornaments. I thought once she had them made, these would make really adorable like gift tags for gifts throughout the holidays. So we'll see how many she does, but I just thought this would be kind of a fun thing that could be you know, a DIY gift and so she was doing a hands-on activity and giving back kind of at the same time. And last, we have games. Now we have a ton of holiday games. If you want to see them all, I will leave a link in the description box for you. You can also check out our holiday plan video because I show them all there as well. But I tried to pick the top three to four that didn't take up a ton of space, could play quite quickly, and only had to have two players so that that way... If Kevin wasn't with us, it wasn't an issue. So the four that will be in our morning basket are Spot It Holidays, Santa Cookie Elf Candy Snowman, which is one of Emily's absolute favorites, Llama Drama Holiday Edition, and Christmas Lights, A Card Game. Okay guys, I wanna wish y'all all very happy holidays. But before I go, I wanna tell you all a joke. What type of pictures do elves take? Elfies!